At the heart of the whole browser and preset engine within Alchemy is a system of attributes and tags and comments, and that's what determines how and where they show up in searches. And we can get to those by pressing the edit button. Now, for example, I have this preset selected, and if I hit edit, we'll see that these are the subcategories this preset is associated with. These are the articulations that it's associated with, meaning if I search for any of these, it'll show up based on these associations. And I can change them by simply clicking here. So now it's going to show up under nasty as well. I'll click that again to remove it. So it's easy to switch which tags are associated with a preset simply by going into this window and selecting them. There's nothing to save. That's all you do. You can add comments here, etc. And if I switch patches, we'll see that obviously all these tags change since they're unique for each preset. Now we can add a system of user tags as well. For example, I'm going to create a user tag. Let's say I want to go through, search some presets, and I'm working on a new EDM song. For example, you can organize these however you want. But click on there, and I'm going to go new tag, and I'm going to call it my EDM sounds I like. You can call it whatever you want, of course, but that's one way of tagging it. So now I'm going to hit close and go back to my main browse view. And let's say I select sounds, and I want to associate this tag with them. I'm going to click on user tag and just go my EDM sounds I like. And it's now been tagged with that simply by doing it from this menu. So you can just sort and search. And as you find ones you like, just enter them into there. Maybe I like this one as well. I want to tag that one with my EDM sounds I like. Maybe I want to do that one as well. So now I've got a bunch tagged with that. So if I want to sort and see just the ones with my user tags, I can just change one of these attributes to user tags. And now here I'll get a list of all the user tags I have. And I only have one right now. So I'll click there. And there are the ones that I just tagged with the tag that I created. And again, we can filter more by using these categories. So this will allow us to build up a big set that we potentially like with user tags, and then filter further by using the categories and attributes. So just to summarize the different ways of working with the browser that we've looked at in the last video and this video, we can sort based on the categories and attributes. And we can switch the attributes here and we'll filter the results based on that. And we can use the search field and we can add minus in there to restrict keyword searches. We can sort by ratings by rating sounds we like and entering the number of stars in there. And we can create user tags like we just saw by going into the edit window and we can create a whole library of user tags. You don't have to have just one. And then by going in the main browser and tagging them with that by using this, we can then sort by user tags by using that as one of the attribute fields. Now let's go back to this. And let's say I want to remove, let's go back to all. And if I want to remove some of these sounds from the way I tag them, let's say I don't want beatbox tagged with my EDM sounds I like anymore. I changed my mind. I go back there uncheck that, and now it's removed. So you'll see it's removed there. So the sounds that are tagged with your user tags, when you go under here, you'll see a check mark next to them versus, let's say, a sound like this that doesn't have it. If I go to user tags, you'll see there's no check mark there. So we go there, select it, and then we can remove that preset from being tagged. And if we want to remove the tag altogether from our library of tags, we can go to edit, and then under user tags, we can go delete tag, and there's my EDM sounds I like. I can just delete it all together like that, and it's gone. So that's a little overview how to work with the browser, and we'll continue with more in the next video.